My time in Costa Rica has almost come to an end, and I've come here to the southern tip of the Nicoya Peninsula, and I may have saved the best for last. When people picture themselves living in paradise, they often imagine it happening once they've retired. But here in the town of Montezuma, there's a community of younger expats who have found that paradise can also include a day at the office. So that's Poi. Wow. You ready to get started? Okay. So you're gonna try it with both arms. Jeremy Levine moved here from New York City in 2005, and along with his fiance, Andrea, opened up a retreat for people who want to learn Poi. And if it doesn't look that exciting yet, you should know that the balls that you spin are normally on fire. Oh! oh. <laughs> Don't do that with fire. <laughs> so what led you to come to Costa Rica to do this? I was in business school uh, before here, getting my MBA, and they kind of wanted us to choose a career, and I didn't want to work in a cubicle anymore. I decided that I'd rather make a lifestyle change and come down here and see if I can live in a place that I had fallen in love with while traveling. How did you adjust to life leaving New York to come here? Well, things are a lot slower moving here, but it's kind of the charm of the country and kind of de-stresses you a little bit from the New York style of life. And life is good, man. <laughs> it's, it's really a beautiful place to be. I love the spirit of the people. We love it. So now try and go back to here and do split time. It's like one, two, one, two. Good. Whoa. Yeah. Good. You're natural, Mike. Now, I have taken a poi lesson in the past and found it to be remarkably challenging, both physically and mentally. Oh! There it is, you got it. Oh god, you suddenly just feel the rhythm of it. And within a couple of hours, things really seem to come together. Very good, look at you. I think you're ready for fire, Mike. Really? Absolutely. You light them on fire? Yeah. Do you want to come to the bonfire tonight and try it? Do you think? Do you think yeah. I can do fire, Jeremy? I think you could do it as long as you stick to the moves that you're comfortable with and we're behind you with a fire blanket in case anything happens. So. <laughs> that's, that's weirdly reassuring. Uh, what could happen? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'd love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I could be a human candle tonight or I could be a fire spinner. Uh, only time will tell. And I'm gonna practice really, really hard all day. Every couple of weeks, Jeremy and Andrea's Poi School celebrates a graduating class with a bonfire at the beach. It's a great chance for the students to unwind and strut their stuff. And I get the feeling I'm in for a real treat as Andrea starts to spin. Having seen Andrea and Jeremy perform many of these moves earlier in the day, I still can't help but marvel to see them when the poi is on fire. It's an awesome display of rhythm and dexterity. And then... Spinning fire is unlike anything I have ever done. It demands your full attention and puts you in an almost meditative state where you're aware of everything you're doing, but at the same time, you can't really focus on any one thing too much. And it's absolutely one of the most incredible things I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> really a rush. I came here hunting for paradise and I found it. The Pura Vida is real. It's not just some branding slogan. It's, it's a free spirit. It's an easy going. It's this incredible environment. It's the lushness. It's the wildlife. It's the people and their generosity and their friendliness and their kindness. 
A paradise is a place that you'd want to move to for the rest of your life. Will I? I don't know. There's other paradises to find.